A Utah military veteran has just finished his final battle facing an unbeatable foe in an extraordinary circumstance. As new specialist Heather Simonson reports, when he needed them, his legion of brothers had his back. And this is the Green Beret. There's a brotherhood forged by experience. Because of the operation that you've been on and the places you've been and the things you've seen. And that makes jumping out of an airplane. This is the man who met me on a jump one night. A little less terrifying. He's in charge. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dick Vienendahl was a jump master in the United States Army Special Forces, the Green Berets. That's him, all right. Look at those arms. Jim Martin was his commanding officer. He just uh, came across as fearless. And the younger guys, they gravitated towards him, I believe, because of that. He had a very strong, audible voice, especially in an aircraft. Dick took Bruce Sperry on his first night combat jump. But I remember seeing him on the ground and then seeing him standing in front of the door of the aircraft and thinking, I'm going to be OK. But even a seasoned soldier at Dick's age is little match for COVID-19. Yeah, I think there's a misconception that, that warriors are cold, soulless creatures. But I think I couldn't be more from the truth. Bruce became combat ready. You put on your body armor and you go. You don't think about it. To go in with Dick, who was losing his battle with COVID. The VA hospital has a strict no visitor policy. Sometimes many patients need the presence of a friend in order to let go. Bruce, who works at the VA, got special permission to be with Dick. An infantry soldier maintains decorum and discipline and shaves a beard, even in the combat. During his generation, a good close shave was essential to leadership. In that room was a soldier and his sergeant. The warm, moist towel was just, uh, I mean, any, any man who shaves will know how that feels on your skin. It was a very personal thing for me, and I know it was personal for him, too. And it wasn't just me. He has literally touched the lives of thousands of men and women in the military during his career, and they were on my back. They were with me. Bruce prepped him for his final jump. In jump terminology, the last two commands are stand in the door and then go. Basically said, go. Until we meet again at that final soldier's sunset. And that's what I told him. And he passed very shortly after that. And there was one more mission. Prepare for honors for fallen veterans. A final salute. Command Sergeant Major Dick Vienendahl. And we won't see the likes of him again. But we, we both hope that his legacy and the things that he taught and stood for live on among the young operators in Special Forces today. It's a sense of loss, but it's yet a sense of respect for the contributions that that veteran has made to our freedoms and to our country. A last goodbye to a man who was one of a kind and a brother in arms. He's a hell of a good soldier. Heather Simonson, KSL 5 News.